parliamentary devices to control the executive one of the important function of the parliament is to control the executive following mechanisms are available to it for this purpose question hour every sitting of either house begins with the question hour which is available for asking and answering questions asking of questions is an inherent parliamentary right of all the members irrespective of their party affiliations the real object of the member in asking the question is to point out the shortcomings of the administration to ascertain the thinking of the government in formulating its policy and where the policy already exists in making suitable modification in that policy zero hour the time immediately following the question hour has come to be popularly known as zero hour as it starts around 12 noon this period is termed as zero hour the term zero hour is not formally recognized in our parliamentary procedure matters of immediate importance about which written questions could not be asked with the sufficient prior notice are raised during the zero hour calling attention motion this is more to call the attention of a minister to any matter of urgent public importance and a minister may make a brief statement or ask time to make statement later only those matters which are primarily the concern of the union government can be raised through a calling attention notice short duration discussion discussion under rule 193 allows a member to raise an important issue through discussion at the end of the discussion the minister concerned gives a brief reply adjournment motion the adjournment motion if admitted leads to setting aside of the normal business of the house for discussing the matter mentioned in the motion the purpose of an adjournment motion is to take the government to task for a recent act of omission or commission having serious consequences its adoption is regarded as a sort of censure critic of the government motion of confidence or no confidence the government moves motion of confidence to prove majority conversely opposition parties may move motion of no confidence to defeat the government on the floor of the house generally these motions are moved to discuss major policy issues besides these devices parliament exercises control over the executive through various house committees parliamentary committees the accountability of the executive to the parliament and the parliament's right to oversee and scrutinize the way in which the executive functions are very important however due to some unavoidable factors such as the pressure of the parliament and its operational procedures it is difficult for parliament as a body to undertake thorough scrutiny of the multifaceted and complex details of the day to day administration and its financial transaction parliament has solved the problem by establishing several committees with the necessary powers to scrutinize the working of the different departments of the government